Hello everyone, I'm Dakota. Uh, the first question is, what techniques do you think are most important in building a relationship with Marcus while helping him to understand the basic tenets of reality therapy? Uh, reality therapy has tonics of relationships, ways of being that uh, they might use as techniques, such as active listening, listening to metaphors, change talk, uh, stories, themes, and especially understanding how they talk about control. They also uh, think it's important to invite solutions and let the client be in control. Education is also another important part to reality therapy. As we noticed, the counselor during their session handed out literature to Marcus so that he could read about and understand the techniques and philosophy behind reality therapy. And of course, a WDEP system is a central part to the process as it is a structured way to address what needs are not being met and addressing his total behavior. Specifically, by addressing his language around internal control and implementing specific actions he can influence indirectly his feelings and uh, depression. That brings us into the next question. Uh, if I was going to continue as Marcus's reality therapist, how would I use the WDEP system to support him in exploring and creating a plan to strengthen his relationships? Uh, we've already explored Marcus's wants around his need for belonging and love his relationship with others is really based on his dependence, uh, which he now sees as a reason why his partner Rob might be uh, distancing himself. And of course, his partner is an important picture in Marcus's quality world. So perhaps we focus on Marcus being more independent to change the narrative of the relationships. That would be the once part. Now, the D is the doing. What, what is Marcus doing that might be contributing to the dependent relationships? Being uh, taken places by Angela, depending on others for direction and prodding are all things that Marcus and the counselor have identified as contributing to his dependence. Next, we need to evaluate how his actions might be working against his independence and want of strong relationships. He identified this after reading the material, another reason why education is an important part of reality therapy. So uh, when we evaluate, uh, we want to make sure that uh, we, uh, there might be homework that the client does. So Marcus might uh, go home later and um, evaluate behaviorally what he's doing in relationships as well uh, as reading the material. Finally, the P is m making a plan. Uh, and the plan um, has to be uh, SAMI 2C3 or specific, attainable, measurable, immediate, invol uh, specifies the involvement of the counselor, uh, the, the client is in control in the driver's seat, it's consistent, uh, it can be replicated, and uh, we also want to evaluate the commitment level of, of Marcus. Um, so a part of the plan might be that he focuses on his comps by creating a plan to achieve them by the deadline. Since being independent is important here and not relying on others, uh, perhaps focusing on this important part of his life and the things that he can do to bring about his own success might be helpful. Um, he can define the plan uh, to achieve it. Uh, and he can also define the level of involvement of the, the counselor and others. Uh, or perhaps we suggest Marcus starts by identifying something 
else in his life that needs to be taken care of that he usually depends on Angela or a part, his partner for, perhaps um, cleaning the house or uh, taking himself to the therapist appointments. Uh, Marcus, at this point, does seem to be capable of taking control of his plan in the, in the text by Nia Krug. The next question is, what multicultural issues does Marcus's counselor need to attend to? So Marcus comes from a family with a, a Nigerian background. Um, uh, he is also adopted and uh, he is gay as well. These are all uh, multicultural uh, perspectives that the counselor would take into account. Um, the great thing about reality therapy is that it is useful in understanding the client's quality picture. So uh, all of these important parts of a person's life and uh, how culture uh, ha and other surrounding social factors has shaped that uh, come into play naturally when exploring a, a client's quality world. Uh, Marcus exists in an individualistic culture, uh, so the idea that he become more independent and responsible for his actions is not inappropriate, but it's also important to remember he is a, an oppressed minority in the dominant culture. And finally, uh, if we were applying the Rational Emotive Behavioral Therapy, or REBT, with Marcus instead of reality therapy, what two major differences uh, uh, would there be in the delivery of the counseling? So one major difference that I could think of is the use of the WDEP system. Rational Emotive Behavioral Therapy does not rely on a specific system. Additionally, REBT therapy targets irrational beliefs, whereas reality therapy focuses more on the needs as a fundamental part of the change. The counseling sessions in REBT will revolve around challenging those irrational beliefs, while reality therapy focuses on matching the client's pictures in their quality world. That's it for me. Thanks.